This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In a previous section, we discussed the value of inputting commands with the keyboard. One key to efficiency in AutoCAD is taking advantage of keyboard shortcuts and the function keys. The function keys act as toggle switches. They turn certain drawing aids off or on. The two you will use the most are the F3 and the F8 keys. The F3 key will toggle on your running O snaps or toggle them off. To show you what some of your O snaps are, here are your options. You can also turn them off and on right here. We'll talk more about these in another section, but suffice it to say that O snaps allow you to make sure you draw a line to the endpoint of another line. You don't have to guess or measure these exact points, but AutoCAD will find them automatically and make sure you draw to them. Some of the other options are midpoints, center point, nodes, quadrants, intersections, and more. I typically like to turn them all on except for the nearest and parallel. You can run it any way you want. By pressing F3, you can toggle them off or on. The command line will tell you what's happened. It will say O snap off or O snap on. Also in the status bar here, you can click these buttons to toggle them off and on. And if you'd rather press the function keys, when you hover over that button, it will tell you what it is and which button to press. O snap is F3. Now the F8 key turns on or off ortho mode. My ortho is now on. If I draw a line, my line will be horizontal depending on which direction I go, or it will be vertical depending on how I orientate my crosshairs from the start point. If I press F8 again to turn it off, it is just a literal line from point to point. The angle and length are determined by where I place my second point. Now, if I go to copy this line, I pick a reference point, and then I pick my second point. If I turn on F8, I can only make that movement orthogonally, or vertically, or horizontal. So your F8 key is very important to keep your drawing lines and line work straight. It helps you to be perfect. Now the F1 key opens up help. So when you get in trouble, F1. This gives you access to all the help files for AutoCAD, and they can describe different commands in AutoCAD for you. It's a great tool to find out the commands you need, or how to get a better understanding on how they work. If I pick something like this line and then press F1, it'll still open up whenever you need it to. So that's okay. If you accidentally press F1, just close out the help. F2, which we've seen, will open up the text window. F4 toggles on 3D O snaps. And we're not going to get too much into 3D in this training video but we do get into 3D into the advanced version, which will come later. But 3D O snaps work just like regular O snaps, only they're being applied to three-dimensional objects. F5 will toggle through your isometric planes, which we'll look at drawing in that later, but they are used so that you can make isometric views. F6 toggles the dynamic input off and on, which we've talked about, and F7 will turn your grid off or on. Now you may see in the background these different lines that are here. They look like grid paper. And they just keep coming and coming and coming as I zoom in and out. They do nothing. They're just there to help you draw your work. But if I press the F7, they'll go away. It's up to you whether you want it or not. Those lines won't print out ever. The F8 is the ortho key. And the F9 is the snap function. F9 will make you snap into place. Or again, you can toggle your things off and on here just by pressing it. And you'll see when I draw that I'm snapping two specific places. And in this case, I'm snapping to the grid. And you can use this to help you in your drawing, or you can keep it turned off. It's up to you. It depends on what you're drawing and what you need to show. 
Now again, you can press F9, or you can press the buttons down here to toggle them off and on. F10 turns on your polar tracking, while F11 turns your O-snap tracking on and off. These tracking devices are very powerful and extremely useful, and we'll talk about them in a later section. Just keep in mind that the function keys turn on and off certain tools that allow you to draw more accurately. Make sure to watch the videos that pertain to these specific tools for a more in-depth description. But as we go and draw throughout this training video, we're going to need to turn these off and on. So when I refer to them, now you know what I'm talking about. One last thing before we go, there is a file known as the PGP file. You can edit this file to change your command aliases. We talked about it earlier. For example, instead of going to the ribbon and selecting the circle command, or instead of typing in C-I-R-C-L-E for circle, I can use a command alias, just the letter C, to draw my circle. You can edit that. You can make your own. And that is done in the PGP file. To get to that, go to the Manage tab on the ribbon to the Customization panel. And it says Edit Aliases. Select it. This will open up a text file in your notepad that has all the information in it. Most of this is just a disclaimer. It tells you what it is. You can see how long it's been in use from since 1997. And you want to scroll down until you get to this area. These are all of the command aliases here in this left column. On the right column is the command that they're a shortcut for. As you can see, there are a lot, and a lot, and a lot, and a lot. Now they're listed alphabetically in here. So if you want to find the circle command, here it is. If you don't like this for the circle and you want it to be something else, you can type in whatever you want. Now, if you're making the command alias, it needs to be short. It needs to be simple. Some of these aren't. And some of these, like the convert to mesh, are ways that AutoCAD gets you to use old commands for new commands. The convert to mesh isn't really used anymore. It's called mesh smooth. And it will work mesh smooth when you type in convert to mesh. I know that's kind of hard to understand why, but trust me on that. Now, you can go and delete these. You can edit these right here, or you can create your own. And you can do that anywhere, as long as you start from this point on down. Now, it's a good idea to leave these alone. Don't mess with what AutoCAD has set up. Go to the bottom, not here, but all the way to the bottom. Autodesk has set up a certain area for you to make your own command aliases. Now, the way this file works, is when AutoCAD loads, it reads this file, puts it into its memory, and it knows what's going on. And it starts at the top, goes to the bottom. Now, if you want to put in a new command for the circle, you can. Just type it in the way it should be typed for a circle. Now, if I don't want C, but I want CI, I can do that, if that makes more sense to you. And what will happen is C is still good, but I can also type in CI for circle. Now, if I pick something, for example, I want C to be for my copy command, I can. How does AutoCAD know the difference between C for circle or C for copy? It uses the one it read last. Since it starts at the top of the file and reads the bottom, what's read at the bottom wins. So you can do that. If you ever want to put it back, because you have your modifications at the bottom isolated, it's real easy. I just delete them. Save the file and have at it. I'm not going to save this because I don't want to change it. But remember, if you're going to edit the command aliases through the PGP file, keep it short. Use something that is very familiar to you that you're going to be able to understand and know and remember. Do all of your work at the bottom, that keeps it organized and separated, and you can always go back to the default settings, and you know which ones you've changed.